In the southern U.S. state of Mississippi, the local power company is building a huge 582-megawatt power plant that will employ clean coal technology. It involves removing the heat-trapping CO2, says former chair of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, Bob Watson, who spoke via Skype. Uh, the other term for it is carbon capture and storage, where we can bust the coal to produce electricity, but we then store and capture the carbon dioxide and we can store it in a depleted oil well, a depleted gas well, or in a saline aquifer. Along with boilers, turbines and generators, a clean coal power plant requires a separate facility for removing the CO2 and another for pumping it underground. So the question is where to build one, close to a city that needs energy, close to a coal mine or close to the underground storage. You can either put them near a city and transport the liquid CO2 or you can put them near a depleted gas well or oil well and then you just obviously have to transport the electricity. Construction of the $7 billion Kemper County Energy Facility began in 2010, and it is slated to start generating electricity later this year. It will capture at least 65% of the CO2 it produces. So, you know, as you build more of these, as you engineer more of these, the cost will come down, uh, the ability to construct them in a timely manner will improve. Uh, you know, what we're seeing here is just an effect of a first-of-a-kind technology. These new technologies can make coal cleaner, but it's now more expensive and still dirtier than technologies like natural gas, solar and wind power. Critics point out that the Kemper County project was started when coal was the primary fuel used to power America. But just seven years later, the U.S. now relies on natural gas and renewables are on the rise. So it's hard to imagine coal making a comeback, clean or not, if these other technologies continue to grab more of the energy market. George Putich, VOA News, Washington.